So what is a Chinese artist and an engineer any, have any business doing a Japanese art in America? <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to find out, just following the theme with the deep sea, is to innovate, create, and change. Since I'm Chinese, you know, the Confucius said that we are born to eat. And it's almost about lunchtime. I know you're going to get food later um, when this is over. But most people really enjoy Chinese food. And they love Chinese food because it's quick and it's delicious. And it's quick because it's chop chop. And it's delicious because it's variety. And due to the time limit that we have here, I would like you to do a stir fry. <laughs> we're going to work at the end in mind. At the end of this session, we're going to create a large, sipsy, suminagashi exhibition created by you. That's our goal. Suminagashi is a mouthful. It's very hard to say. And that's the first time I can say it faster than anybody else and without feeling like I mispronounce anything. It's Suminagashi. So if you don't say it right, I will sue you. You want to follow me to say it? Suminagashi. Sumi is the black ink that Asian use for writing calligraphy and the brush painting. Nagashi means flowing. And in Chinese, it's mu liu. Why say it has a Chinese, I mean, it's a Japanese name, but you say it's Chinese, it's really confusing, it's really chaotic, but isn't that how we create? Suminagashi started in China 2,000 years ago. But with the crazy emperor and chairman, you know they burned the books and so forth, there's hardly any record they're tracking on it. The Japanese did a great job keeping track of the traditional art form and the Shinto priests would meditate in front of the water by the temple. And because they were vowed to secrecy, one drop at a time, they would take the ink, let it drip into the water, just like stone, drop into the water, and the priest could let off his secret, desire, obligation, prayer, into the water. And they would capture this with the rice paper, and then present it only to the shogun, emperor. Only noble people were allowed to watch this. And in a religious ceremony, a big gathering of some court or some special important days, they would fold up this paper and present it to the gods by burning it. Because they feel that is the honor that they would present it to the high up through the smoke. Now, we're not going to burn anything today. <laughs> We are going to do a suminagashi with a new twist. And this is a contemporary suminagashi because I could not find any master to kind of teach me and I had to come up with my own way because of my work at, uh, as an engineer I was doing thesis and research on the wind tunnel and the water channel. And I watched the way the water moves and the air moves. And it was wonderful that I thought, oh my gosh, I could put these together. This is a slide that was created in the wind tunnel and the laboratories in an engineering school. But as you're going to see how that would apply as you paint on the tray. And now we change it to a contemporary style that everybody can be part of it. And as you paint, if you follow a change and your team member adds something to it, then wait, wait, that wasn't what I intended. What was that feeling like? What have you learned? To work as a team? What have you learned to accept ideas? Things happen that you didn't quite plan, and things happen that you have no expectation whatsoever. How does it speak to you that you create, innovate, and change? And how this painting on water might apply to your work? your boss, with your subordinate. How this form, this playful way of creating, how this may apply to your home life, your personal life. It's all about you. You are part of the community, you 
part of the team. You create that work that you're going to see out in the hallway in about 24 hours, right? That's my understanding. So be sure you take a look. The work that I do at my studio, which is very different from the traditional one because I have taken it dips and bounds forward. After all, I've been doing it for 21 years, and that's about 7,000 days. And that's about 60,000 hours. So I do not expect that you're going to be able to create works like uh, magic, the kind of work that I do. However, I feel that this is an open source community nowadays. It's not about keeping the secret that only the priest knows, only Amy figured it out. But the more people can enjoy and participate and engage into an activity like this, in Japan, the 12-year-olds are playing with it. So as Tony was talking about the 12-year-old inside you, this is a way for you to let out that 12-year-old playing. So there are lots of opportunity for you and with that, please give yourself a big hand. That was great. Give Amy a big hand.